on the big island of Hawaii, high on the slopes of Mount Aloha Volcano, is an observatory that can measure air samples undisturbed by local pollution or vegetation. And this week, the observatory released new measurements of atmospheric carbon dioxide, 421 parts per million, a continued increase from last year. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration announced this week that peak CO2 measured at the observatory is now more than 50% higher than pre-industrial levels. The increase is due to the output of the gas from human behavior like burning fossil fuels and deforestation. Carbon dioxide levels this high are comparable to the Pliocene between 4.1 and 4.5 million years ago before human existence. CO2 in the atmosphere, it traps heat radiating from the planet's surface and that causes warming. Consequ consequences include weather impacts like extreme heat, drought, and tropical storm activity. National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administrator Rick Spinrad said in a statement, We can see the impacts of climate change around us every day. The relentless increase of carbon dioxide measured at Mount Aloha is a stark reminder that we need to take urgent, serious steps to become a more climate-ready nation. This graph here is really interesting too, Geneva. Yes, exactly. This is the Keeling curve and it shows that increased, that steady increase over time, Scott, of the carbon dioxide measured over there at Mount Aloha. Yeah, and that's in the green and it doesn't take a, you know, I mean, it doesn't really take a scientist to even show you that the temperature line in the blue is mirroring that. It goes up and down because it changes with the season uh, during the summertime. We have less carbon dioxide because of all the trees blooming, but it's still, the trend is upward. Right, and there's that 421 parts yeah. per million that it's at right now and it is hard to track how much this uh, directly impacts our day-to-day -day weather but we can see that change over time looking at decadal trends. Yeah we've seen the decades how the weather has changed especially over the last couple of decades and it's likely to keep changing as long as this keeps rising. Exactly well for more information on this you can visit our website or uh, visit NOAA's website noaa.gov.